All right. I know I keep talking about Unbrilliance, but I got I based on things that happened during the week. I got something I want to show. So, in Brilliance Essentials, uh, one of my favorite people in my life, my sister, is making a pirate flag. How is your sister doing? I she's know. doing great. Okay, I don't completely. She, I should shut up. She has two thing. grandchildren, and she's got a new swing set coming, and she wants to make a pirate flag for the swing set. So she goes out and she finds this little pirate looking guy yep. and she goes but it's too small can i make him bigger and i said yeah you can and can i make it bigger and not have the stitches be awful and i go yeah you can <laughs> do you have in brilliance essentials now i know we can some degree we can yep. do it on our machines but i go do you have in brilliance essentials she goes yes i do background i want to tell you that it is currently on sale for 139 dollars I got their website right here. You can buy it direct from them. And if you don't like it, you get your money back in 90 days. So to me, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. It's easy. Wow. This is what she want, wanted. She Morning. wanted... Okay. Thank you. She wanted a pirate sign that would fit, like, in her 9 by 14 hoop. And she wanted the last name Wizzacurky on it. Um, she wanted it to curve like the hat. And I go, easy peasy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to her originally purchased design, which is right here. And when I click on him, you'll see this is how it comes in. It comes in at, I'm going to round it off, six, six and a half inches by, I've got to put my glasses on, by six, five and a half inches by six and a quarter. I'm rounding it off. That's kind of a tiny flag. It's not even close to what she wanted. Right? Yeah, that's not going to be very fearsome when you're sailing the high seas. But let me, let, me, let me just show you something that makes this software so... If you have an embroidery machine, oh my lord. Look at right down here at the current stitch count. See this? 14,520. <laughs> Automatically with this software, okay? I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say, oh, she wanted it to be... I'm just making this up. This isn't exactly what she wanted. She wanted me to make it 8 inches. Well, as soon as I make it 8 inches, because this lock is on, it automatically keeps it in... Um, keeps the aspect ratio. Aspect ratio. Yes. So now he's grown up, but look at what happened automatically to the stitch count. It went up, it went up to 18,846 stitches. This is going to stitch out as perfect as this size, as it was at the little size. Likewise, let's say I wanted to make it a lot smaller because when she's done, she may want to make little matching t-shirts for her little bros. They put on, they and then all of a sudden you want it really small. I can change that and I say, oh, I only wanted two inches. There we go. Now he's really tiny. He's two by two and a quarter. See the stitches? 9,080. I don't have to even think. It automatically recalculates the stitches for you. For a hundred and thirty-nine bucks. Now so I've already not, told so you. You don't I, have to worry about density or any of that. It just does no, it all automatically. No, nice. Automatically. But so let's go back to the eight inch because that's closer to what she was hoping. Now I'm going to oh, use my new trick of clicking down here to rotate my hoop. Wasn't that slick? And then I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to rotate him because I want you to see how easy it is to put the lettering in this thing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rotate him in my hoop. See, like that. Now what I want to do is I want to put a name in it. Right. Up here, guys, that's my text tool. So I'm going to click on my text tool. I have to highlight over here. comes in automatically as ABC. That's not what I want mine to say. I want it to say Miss Muffet. And I hit return. And I know it's a little hard to see, so I'm going to move it up. There we go. Now, every... It's coming on. It just has the wrong camera on it. Every single letter comes in so you can negotiate letter by letter. That's what those green boxes are. That's not what I want to do. I just want to curve the whole thing to match his little hat. This is the beauty of this. Come over here. You see this little circle guy right here? I need to get a highlight, a mouse highlighter. This little circle thing means, look, can you bend him? Watch how easy this is, guys. See this top button here for radius? Watch what happens to my lettering. Did you see what happened? We're just playing with that radius. I can make him rounder. Do you see, do you, can you see it? Are you as mad as I am? And then I'm just inching him back in place. Do you see that? And then I say, oh, my T's a little lower than my M. 
So I can click on all my letters and I can rotate it just a tad. And this is basically what I did. Whoop, done. Custom size, custom lettering, ready to go. And I can also watch it stitch out. Let's watch it fast. Now, when you resize the whole thing, will it resize the lettering with it? Or did you just Yes, about it? if I had put the lettering in first. Yeah, okay. But I didn't. I waited till I got it the size I want to pick the lettering I wanted and get that curve right. Because yeah. the curve could change depending on when you're resizing it. So now what you're seeing is you're seeing this whole thing stitch out on your screen so you know where your appliques are. Come on. It's going. This is as fast as I can make it go, people. But And I left the letters as last. So let's say she wants to make more than one and she wants to put different names in each thing. Just go in and change the letters. Mm -hmm. Nice. And here they so, come. Let me tell you my, my stitch count story real quick. Here it comes. Wait a minute. I got, I got to see the... This is it. Look at this, guys. It's just like that. It's done. Custom size, custom lettering. Save it to your USB stick unless you have a wireless machine like the Luminaire. If you're, if you're like me, you just go up here. That's why I'm on my Luminaire. You go up to Utility and you go, send to Lumi. And you can give it a name. I'm not going to. I'm just going to, you'll be able to see it up there for if all goes well. And it should. If Miss Muffet looks yep. like that. Go ahead.